Dad, it's been a bit of a crazy 24 hours in the Christian Deutsch saga. Can you sort of talk us through what's happened? Uh, yeah, basically the transfer was meant to go through uh, last week on Wednesday, I think it was, 3rd of Jan. And um, we got in touch the day before to say, yeah, everything all right, it's going to happen. And uh, didn't get a very convincing answer. Come the day, uh, it didn't happen. Spent a couple of days talking to the chairman, trying to sort it out. Uh, we did reach a different agreement uh, to try and accommodate them. Um, uh, we were drawing it up um, and then that was reneged on and um, over the weekend uh, put a lot of thought into it and realised that we were in limbo, player was in limbo, uh, you know, we're in the transfer window, we needed to know what we were going to do. So we decided to call him back and just call time on the whole Bolton uh, fiasco. And Bolton have put a statement out this morning to say that they still hope to resolve the situation. What do you make of that? I'm amused. Uh, because, you know, our communications between us are very clear. I mean, there are none now, but it was very clear at the time. Uh, the chairman there is not worried about being sued or being bankrupted. Uh, he's, he's been there and done it. You know, he, he laughed off the, the idea of being sued. Uh, he's a secured creditor, he tells me, so he's safe whatever happens. Uh, we're not, he tells me, so we'll get 10p in the pound. You know, very, very cocky. Um, and uh, clearly been around the block on this one. So uh, I think what they've just said is just another lie, actually. They don't really think this is uh, something that's going to be resolved um, for, for a minute. And what do you make of the conduct of the chairman, Mr Anderson, over the last few days? I probably just gave you a clue in my last answer, didn't I? <laughs> very poor. You know, just, just very poor. It goes back to August, really. Lots of, lots of promises were made that haven't been kept. Um, and in the last few days in particular, been a very tricky customer to deal with. I'd say he's, he's a slippery, um, slippery customer. Um, he's not somebody who uh, I would ever believe again um, about anything. And um, yeah, I think he's, he's the kind of person who gives football a bad name. Obviously at the heart of all this is Christian himself. Have you spoken to him? How is he? No, I haven't spoken to him yet, but I'm going to. Uh, he's in training and uh, the manager's spoken to him. And uh, you know, I know where he's coming from. He, he's a good professional, uh, dedicated guy. Uh, I just know he'll be getting his head down and uh, getting ready to give his all on the pitch. Yeah, so the hope is he can fit back into the team and support us in the push for promotion. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, which would be great for him and great for us, wouldn't it? It'd be a great outcome for everybody, actually. And where Forest Green rely on, on the money from Bolton when it comes to a financial fair play or anything else in terms no. of the business? No. Okay. Um, We've now got quite a few strikers on the books. Um, obviously, brought in Mikulski uh, earlier on in the window. Uh, do you see that as a, a great opportunity for us, I guess, to push on for promotion? Uh, yeah, I mean, we were, we were wondering whether we needed one more addition anyway. Um, signing Christian is probably the best uh, additional signing we could have made in January. So, uh, so that's all good, really. I, I think we've got a lot of firepower, a lot of options certainly cover for injuries and suspensions as well, uh, but a lot of talented players in the squad. And we've had hundreds and hundreds of responses on social media, both from Bolton and FGR fans. Have you got a message to those, those fans who've contacted us? The Bolton fans? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you know, the sentiments uh, that I read overnight on, the, on social media were, were incredible. Uh, you know, best wishes for Christian and for the club, the apologies, the embarrassment, um, uh, the colourful language when it comes to describing the chairman there. And, uh, and I feel for them, the situation they're in, you know, uh, being stuck with a guy like that at the helm of the club. So, uh, yeah, thank you. And, uh, and just to, to, to share those that, that did ask, you know, this is not something we hold against the club. It's something we hold against the chairman. Uh, and how supportive have the EFL been in terms of this saga? Uh, very. <clears throat> yep. Uh, Chief Exec gave me a call this morning to um, basically make sure they had all the facts to let me know what they've been doing behind the scenes and uh, you know talk about what might be possible going forwards. So yeah, I mean the EFL, uh, uh, in my experience, in our short time in the in the league, uh, are a fantastically professional organisation. Super impressed. And now the situation seems to be resolved, and Forest Green now have their record goal scorer back. How exciting is that? <laughs> well, it's just really exciting, and I mean, it's uh, certainly a silver lining to come out of this whole thing uh, to have Christian back uh, for the second half of the season. Look, we're poised in the playoff positions. We've got a great squad anyway. Uh, adding Christian to that is is properly exciting. Great. Thanks very much. Yeah.